the Pokemon, and then we're gonna head to the first gym. Don't know the name of this place, or the name of the gym leader, or anything else, but we'll find out uh, if they put a sign up in front. We're in or Orboro City? What is it, Starbro? Orboro? Or Oribur Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader, Roark. Call me Roark the Rock. I hate Rock Gym Leaders, Rock Dungeons, Rock Pokemon, Rock as an element, Earth. Earth is different, but Rock. Just Rock is bad. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, they really hate water, and my starter is water. Also, yeah, they have weaknesses. I avoid the long way because I'm trying to level up, bro. This is a game. I mean, it is a game, but you think it's a game? You do, bro. Do you guys tell trainers that you're a rock ship? You advertise you're a rock ship. Come into the gym, your trainer or whatever, for the rock gym, and your lineup is rock Pokemon. And I just come in with a water Pokemon and basically one shot all of your Pokemon. If this was me in the Pokemon universe, I would say this is grounds for animal abuse. Pokemon abuse. Can't do this, bro can't, you can't, they're not fodder, bro, they're not, you know, they're not here for my prim club to just slap around, like, you know, they get knocked out, they go to the Pokemon Center, they gotta be healed, man, these are life forms, and why are your employees kids, and if they're not your employees, why are they just lingering around instead of fighting you, why are they trying to fight me instead, like, buddy, Aren't you- I ain't gonna give you a badge! See the white parts and I see like dust and dirt on my screen. It's a really nice screen, man. Like I need to take care of it. Congratulations, your prim club evolved into a prim club. A prim club. Oh, this is what I've been calling prim club the whole time. So there is a prim club. It lives alone away from others. Apparently, every one of them believes it is the most important. So it's like a lone wolf penguin species that are all just like egocentric narcissists. That's, that's a respectable, respectable upgrade. Metal Claw. Metal Claw. Okay, and then you, you dingus, do I need to deal? No, I don't. Because you have fodder, I went through the fodder. I'm Roar, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. So you only have one Pokemon type and you advertise your weakness. And you're willing to battle a type of Pokemon that can one shot your Pokemon. So this is animal like negligence, sir. Shame on you.
How'd you, how'd you not? Like, what, what kind of... I'm gonna use water, bro. Fuck that. One and down, just spray the man. Hold the man down. Dude. Rock, dude. Geo, dude. Okay. That's a lot of Fuck, I'm gonna use that to waste his face. Onyx. Ooh. Major City vibe. Oh yeah, you both have charity, huh? I keep your game to have passives. Because of quick claw, haha. <laughs> Later, one shot. Your level 4 speed egg nuggets. He gave me two thousand. Oh, and you're going two thousand is like two heal balls. Oh, Ooh, cool. You're with a little bop, a bop. Congratulations, your star evolved into a star Arabia. Ah, star Arabia. Gym badge. Oh, badge from Roark. Roar. Having that cold badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Pokemon. You should also take these two. If I need to Rock Smash to match up or some shit. Each GM76 can hit a move Stealth Rock. It's a move that puts damage on points on switching to battle. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Stickers? This is like some club shit. Cool, that's my first gym. That was really easy, obviously. I had an advantage with the water type. Everything went smoothly. The lineup reminded me a lot of uh, Peter City. I don't know if it's probably intentional to an extent. But yeah. That's our Roar Gym. Or a bird. <laughs>